My name is Mr. Shengoma. In our today's class, we're going to do some general revision. And 99% uh, of our general revision is going to be under the topic of uh, geometry. So here are our questions. Let's begin with number one. Number one, we are supposed to find the value of x. So when you look at our shape of number one, it's a pentagon. The shape of number one is a pentagon. And we know a pentagon, uh, to get the interior angle sum of a pentagon, we need to do n minus one, n minus two times 180. And the pentagon is five sides. So we multiply by 180, that means three times 180, and then we get 540. This means all these interior angles will add up to 540. Like that. So then we work out in a normal basis and we shall get um, 5x plus 315 is equal to 540. So 5x is equal to, we shall take 300 this side and then we subtract. And then we get 200 and 25. Then we divide by five, and then we get the value, the value of x. And the value of x will be 45. Right, then we go to question two. Question two is a straight line, and we know straight line adds to 180. So that means x squared plus two x plus 30 will give us 180. So, x square plus 2x plus 30 minus 180 will give us zero. That means we have now a quadratic, a quadratic equation there. So after getting quadratic equation, we need to get our general formula and we find the values. Okay, so that means we shall have uh, minus two plus or minus bracket two square minus four times one times 150, all of it is under the bracket. Then everything over, so this is two A here, so everything over two bracket, uh, bracket one. So we simplify inside the bracket and we get uh, one answer. And that one answer would be 604. 604, because we have four here, and then we have four times 150, we get positive 600, so 604 over two. Then we get the square root of 604. We get the square root of 604, and it will be 24, 0.57. So that means there we shall have minus 2 plus or minus 24.5 or 0.6 because three significant figures. So over 2. So that means we have our two answers. One answer will be uh, minus 2 plus 24.6 over 2. Another one will be uh, minus 2 minus 24.6 over 2. So here we shall get 2 answers. So one of the answers will be 11.3. 11.3. Then the other answer will be negative 26.6 divided by 2. 13. Negative 13. Negative 13.3. So that's how we solve question number Question number two, it leads to quadratic equation because we had x squared. Then we got question number three. On question number three, um, if you look at this, this angle here of x and this one of x, they're corresponding. And if they're corresponding, it means they're equal. So that means 
x will be 60. And then, in the same way, uh, if you look at um, 3y and you look at 120, these are co exterior, co exterior. And we know co exterior will always add up to 180 degrees. So if co exterior add it to 180 degrees, we shall subtract here, get 60, divide by 3, means our y will be 20 degrees. Number four. Exterior angle, right here it is the word less. Exterior angle is 30 degrees less than interior angle, meaning interior angle is bigger. And we know interior angle plus exterior angle, we always get 180 degrees. So if the exterior angle is x, the interior angle will be x plus 30 because the interior angle will be bigger than the exterior angle. So when we add the two, we should get 180. So this means we shall have 2x is equal to 180, take away 30. So 2x is equal to 150. When you divide by two, we shall get our x as 70, 75. So we shall write here 75. But x we represent exterior. Interior, it means we have to take the x, we add the 30 of the difference. We have to get x and we add 30 of the difference. And that will give us 105 degrees. Right, we move to question number five. Find one interior angle of a shape with 20 sides. Find one interior angle. We know the formula for one interior angle is n minus two times 180. That gives us the sum. Then divide by n, we get one interior angle. So this will mean 20 minus two, 180 over 20. And that means we have 18 times 180 because we have 20 minus two, then we divide by 20. And we, on top we shall get 300, 3,240 over 20. And then we divide our answer by 20, we get 162 degrees. Right, we go to question number six. Find one exterior angle of a shape with 12 sides, one exterior angle. So we know uh, exterior angle is given by 360 divided by n. That's we get exterior angle. So it means 360 divided by 12. So if I get 360 and I divide by 12, I will get 30. That means here, my exterior angle will be 30 degrees. All right. How many sides are there in a shape with interior angle 150? We're looking for sides, but we're given interior angle. But we know interior angle plus exterior angle is 180. So if the interior angle, if the interior angle is 150, then my exterior angle will be 30. Right, so after I get 30, I know uh, to get the number of sides is equal to 360 divided by exterior angle. So if I get 360 and I divide by 30 degrees, I get 12 sides. So meaning if a shape has got interior angle 150, um, the number of sides of that shape will be 12, will be 12 sides. Okay, so we are going to number eight. We have parallel lines here. But if you check properly, we have here another corner here, I have 40 market with red. So because we have another corner there, please introduce another parallel line like that. Ah, this is our new parallel line. So remember, if this is 30, even this one will be 30 here. Why? Because of alternate. And if this is 50, even this one will be 50 because of alternate. All right, so if I want x, that means x plus 30 plus 50, I get a circle, that is 360. So it means our x will be 360, take away 80. Hence our x will be 280 degrees. Okay, we go to the next part, number nine. Number nine, find x, so that is Pythagoras theorem, right? Pythagoras theorem that is a square plus b square is equal to c square. My a square is x square, five square is equal to 13 square. That means x square will be equal to 13 square minus five square. So my x square will be 144. 
square root, square root. Hence, I get my x as 12 uh, meters according to the question. So this is our first section of our revision. So next we are going to continue with the, the next questions of revision. For now, we pause here and we continue with the next question.